Hello students. In this video, we will learn about Bryophyta, the second division of the plant kingdom, under cryptogams. Bryophytes are the first land plants, commonly called mosses or liverworts. Bryophytes are considered amphibians of the plant kingdom. They can survive on land, yet require water for reproduction. Hence, they are seen on moist and damp lands. Bryophytes have differentiated plant body that bears root-like, leaf-like, and stem-like structures. The bryophytes are atracophytes, meaning they do not possess the vascular bundles made of xylem and phloem. These are embryophytes with jacketed sex organs. This means that the embryo is formed after reproduction and the sex organs are protected by special protective layers. The complete life cycle of bryophytes includes two generations, namely the gametophyte and the sporophyte. The gametophyte is the main plant body that produces gametes. The gametes fuse or fertilize to form a sporophyte. Sporophyte generates spores and these spores develop into a new gametophyte. This is called alternation of generations and is defined as a type of life cycle of a plant or animal where sexual forms alternate with asexual forms. Let us learn the structural details of the gametophytic and sporophytic stages of bryophyte. The gametophytic body of a bryophyte bears the male and female sex organs called the antheridium and archegonium, respectively. The antheridium is racket-shaped, protected by a sterile jacket, and encloses sperm mother cells. The sperm mother cells develop into the male gamete antherozoid, which is biflagellated, meaning that it possesses two flagella that help in swimming. To talk about the female reproductive organ, the archegonium, it is flask-shaped, having a long neck and a swollen basal region called the venter. The venter bears the female gamete egg. During fertilization, the antherozoid is released into the water and reaches archegonium by swimming and enters the venter to fertilize the egg. The fertilization results in the formation of a zygote that initiates sporophytic generation and develops into a sporophytic body. The sporophyte grows in attachment to the gametophyte and is dependent on the gametophyte for its nutrition. Hence, the sporophyte is parasitic over the gametophyte. The sporophytic body has three main parts, namely, the foot, seta, and capsule. The foot is fixed into the gametophyte, seta holds the capsule, and the capsule generates spores. The formed spores, when fall on a suitable substratum, develop into a new gametophytic body. These are the structural details of gametophytic and sporophytic stages of bryophytes. Before concluding, let us look at the life cycle of bryophytes. As mentioned earlier, the life cycle of bryophytes exhibits alternation of generations where a sporophytic stage alternates the gametophytic stage. In the life cycle of bryophytes, the gametophytic body performs gametogenesis to produce the male and female gametes. These gametes are haploid structures. The haploid gametes fuse to form a diploid embryo that develops into a diploid sporophyte. The sporophyte generates spores that are haploid and develop into a new gametophytic body. Since the haploid and diploid structures are equally shared in the life cycle, it is also called a haplodiplontic life cycle. These are the details on the bryophytes. Let us summarize. The bryophytes are considered the amphibians of the plant kingdom. Bryophytes are atracophytic, non-embryophytic organisms with jacketed sex organs. The male and female sex organs are called antheridium and archegonium, respectively. The sporophyte is parasitic over the gametophyte. 
The bryophytes exhibit haploplantic mode of life cycle.